Greetings, family. <laughs> hey, y'all, my wife put me up to, to this, so she wanted me to talk about this. So I'm going to briefly talk about this really quickly. Um, expansion. How does expansion happen? What is expansion in religious terms or Christian terms? Expansion could be going from glory to glory. Expansion could be going, um, uh, having a, a, a becoming a new wine skin so God can pour more new wine or more revelation into you. This is expansion. This is, what it, this is what expansion is. So how how does expansion happen? Well, first off, why do you need it? Why do you need to be expanded? We need to be expanded because this is how we bring more God in, more of God in. Again, more revelation. We get revelation because in, uh, re revelation takes us higher in our understandings. It invites more of God in. Um, you know, we can't hold all of what, what God is. We got to take it piece by, by piece. So you got to be you got to be expanded. You have to allow the spirit of God to increase you so that you can get more revelation because there's there's just too much. So expansion, how we expand is when we allow more of God in, when we allow more revelation. So what does that mean? Um, or what does it look like? If God is trying to get you someplace, God must show you something that the present you may not fully agree with or fully un un understand. When we expand, when we allow expansion to happen or we, when we allow um, more room within our spirit, you, you know, to, to, to come about, then um, we are able to hold new aspects of God or more of God. So we got to understand, man, expansion is a necessity if we want to, to literally be who we were created, be who we were created to be, have the authority that we were created to have, you know, in all of this glory, man, you got to be willing to go. I think it was Isaiah said, send me, Lord, I'll go. Where? Where will you go? Where? You have to go into the places where the, 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 the previous you or the you right now wasn't willing to go before. So when you decide to take the step forward into the place where God wants to take you, because again, we can't hold everything that God is. So we have to take it in incrementally. So what that means is you have to make the adjustments. You have to be courageous. You have to understand, man, that this is this is the source. This, this is the thing. This is what we move in. This is what we go with. And if we do it, if we courageously move towards expanding in the ways and in the directions that God is providing or laying out for us, then we have no choice but to grow and increase and bring in more God. You know, a lot of you want to do things. You, you want to see what it's like, you know, to to heal people, to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to just just get out of your situation. You know, get, get out of that old apartment that you're living in. You know what I mean? We want to see what this is really like. But we have to be willing to, to take the chances that God provides by way of revelation and expanded knowledge and understanding. I'm saying this, y'all, too, because, um, you know, uh, me specifically, I'm getting ready to go in. I don't know how God is going to do it. I've been wondering, wondering and waiting. Lord, when when are we going to go into these uh, these teachings and everything? Um, but it's getting close, so um, I just want you guys to stay tuned, but increase, allow yourself to go higher and farther. In Jesus' name, I talk to you. Peace.